one of the benefits of uh, kind of working back in the back of the college. We get to operate as a very small startup. We get to um, communicate with the team. We're all you know in the middle of the office working together towards a common goal of serving students. And I uh, just kind of want to give you some of the background information so you, um, you, you, get, you gain a little bit more understanding of uh, what happens in the ISP office. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and touch base on that. So really what we're doing is uh, about six weeks out. It says it's a six week timeline, but in all reality, we start our timelines about week 10 into the starting quarter. So like if we're in week two of the fall quarter, we're already preparing for winter quarter. And this is all the things that has to happen weekly six weeks out to a quarter, um, even though sometimes we get the jump on it. Um, so this is our, every, every, every time this happens, along with collaborating with faculty, trying to better the program, um, processing student material, uh, student correspondence, all that good stuff. So um, that's a lot of what happens, but now I wanna to talk to you a little bit about like how unique we are and how we all get to collaborate and work together. So let's go ahead and, and travel just a little bit here. Um, so at every visit, every time we go and visit our students, we wanna get better. We go four times a quarter uh, just to tutor our students. And uh, we always ask for feedback from our uh, traveling faculty or you know our, uh, our staff presence there. So just off our last visits, one of our students uh, let, uh, helped us realize that um, there is a math question that is not covered in the material, but yet it is, it's, on the, it's on the midterm. So that's a possible cleanup for us. And then also, too, part of us being able to um, see problems and identify and be in a small college, small startup program is, is um, the research parameters from Philosophy 104. We're going to change that around to where our, our incarcerated students will be able to call us um, and have a prompt from the library and the library will help them with their research and send that to them so they can complete the research component for their philosophy 104 course basically what that's going to do it's going to increase the turnaround time of their request so they can actually start working and have a little bit more time to complete their modules um, some of the other just programmatic cleanups is you know something that's been requested is peer tutoring our isp students would love to see our face-to-face -face students and you know um, and get received tutoring from them uh, uh, we talked earlier about what triple check means we've decided um, to go ahead and do triple checks on all documents not just our isp student packs to make sure they have what they need but all documents and the content that's within it to make sure we're having the right message delivered um, a couple other things we're going to try to do is, uh, you know, face-to-face -face registration with one of our locations in the fall, in the uh, next spring quarter, because they have to redo their blog application and we have 147 students there. So by us going and helping registration actually helps our registrar's office, our financial aid office process those documents quicker. Uh, part, of, part of being a small program is we have a lot of part-time help in the office. Um, so this reminder section is uh, really important for us for, you know, let's say I don't overlap with one of the employees and I need something, we need to work together towards something, um, we, could, we can figure that out. So for example, we have our juvenile treatment center. We need, to, um, we need shorter pencils for our juvenile treatment center because they can't have a traditional size pencil. We can't have staples on the modules like we can have at other locations. So each location is different and we need to remind ourselves of those different, of those nuances of each location. Okay, uh, so another thing back to kind of being a small program and not having a lot of overlap with our um, staff inside is uh, we need to have our to-do list down. We need to make sure that we're all working towards a common goal of serving students and it's those little itty bitty things that add up and it's foundational for the program that we need to make sure that we're following up on. So we need to make sure that, um, for example, we need to ask Bob for toner so we can do our prints or we need to um, make sure that our philosophy 104 DVDs are requesting, are, are being processed appropriately. One of our locations, students can watch DVDs on a PC. So we have to burn that in a different way. So we have to request that through media services that it's burnt through a different file. That's a lot of what we have to do, but I mean, this thing changes three or four times a week of the list that we all need to work together and accomplish to do together. All right, so this is a, a, a bulk of what we work on for, it just seems like it never stops. We're always making sure that our students are set for registration. They have a clear pathway of what they need to graduate. Um, 
that also takes their individual goals as students together. So if they're transferring, if they're going to another location, if they're going to the streets and they're going to release, if they're going to different programs in the state, if they're going out of state, or if they're going um, to a transitional center, we need to make sure that we have their educational goals um, taken accountability of. So what we have is our just our registration board and our forecasting of students. Um, this started for the summer quarter. This started the first two weeks of spring quarter. So we started at registration in numbers. And what we do is we kind of forecast the amount of transition, drop, transfer, all that type of stuff. And then we ask our locations based off of that number, um, you know, what, what uh, how many students we need and then we'll send them new student registration. Now that being said, talking of registration, I'll show you later on, talking of registration, you know, we go through each student's educational plan so uh, take, for example, if we were in a summer quarter right now um, and it's the first week of summer session, we would start registering students right now and sending them registration and start that, that whole process that um, gives them an individualized education plan, but also to um, forecast exactly what they need to graduate without a bunch of classes they don't need. Um, we do that in collaboration with uh, enrollment services and our counseling staff. So once we have um, made that sheet up, we send it off to counseling and then counseling verifies all, all the classes that the student needs to take. So, so far we've talked about how we're, we're a small startup. We have our timelines, we have our, our courses that we need to fix, we need program alterations, we need reminders because of staffing, we need to make sure that we have to-do lists. We talked about the registrations, now I want to talk about things to discuss as a group. Um, really this is stuff that we talk talk about on our on our bi-weekly team meetings and uh, if you ever want to participate in those you're always more than welcome to do that um, just a small thing you know it's like change the cover of the continuing student registration do we want to do that Be, just with the impacts of AB 705 and how that's going to affect our students we need to make sure that um, we're, we're representing everybody um, we need to make sure that uh, we um, give a clear understanding of of what the grade change language is for our instructors so when we're communicating that um, um, they're filling out their paperwork appropriately. Um, we need to make sure, just for small things, like every summer quarter, all students need to fill out their uh, a new BOG. So we make sure they do that. So really, that's all the stuff we discuss as a group and uh, about how we continually to change and adapt to our ever-needing student population. Mm -hmm.